In Autonauts versus Pirate Bots, you must gather resources, build a base, and defend against your mortal enemy, the Pirate Bots, led by this monstrosity here. But once you're ready, you can take the fight to the enemy, leading the charge against the Dread Pirate Robot and his giant fortress. Now, this game was developed by Denki, and it was made in Scotland, which obviously means that this game is a 10 out of 10 before we even played it. Now, Curve games were kind enough to sponsor this Autonauts vs Pirate Bots video, so we're gonna give the game a shot and see if this game is worth it or not. As in, not. You know, like, also not. <clears throat> If you want the game, it will be released on the 28th of July, which will be tomorrow if you're watching on the day of release. So follow the link in the description where you can buy the game or add it to your wish list. And let's begin the campaign where we're gonna find out just how long I can survive for. Here's my prediction, not very long. Now I'm gonna call this Dundee, which for those of you who don't know is where I was born and it's an absolute dive. And now you can see all the different resources we need to collect. So let's begin. In the mission and look at this even the developers are telling you to like and subscribe so if you haven't liked and subscribed go do it now i mean it's not me telling you it's this little purple dude here i guess that's not a dude is it i didn't see any of this in the tutorial and I'm, i'll be honest i'm a little bit scared i didn't even know that it rained so oh, okay um i take it this is part of the normal campaign and i didn't just get really unlucky did i oh my god he's just kidnapped he's just he's just literally kidnapped my people okay excellent um well we've been oh it's fine boys we got the polis has turned up to save us instead of dropping me off in that rocket how about we just fly the rocket into the enemy's base come visit my fortress. Mate, I'm not just gonna visit your fortress. I'm gonna wipe you off the face of the map, sunshine. This is supposed to be a fun, light-hearted game, but I'm gonna take this unnecessarily seriously. So, this delightful little fella down here, this is me. And you see all these little bot-looking things? Those, those are bots. Now, as you can see, the map that we're working with is pretty enormous. This is our area right down here, but the reason I picked it is because look at this stone wall. This will be easier to defend. Now, you'll see right away there are two main fundamental resources, stones and sticks. And we start with a bunch of bots here. Okay, I think that's all the bots. Now, if I press spacebar, you'll see it will pick all the bots on the map. So you can now see very clearly I have got nine bots and this is how we give them instructions. What I would do is I'd click on one of these bots here and then behind my big head, you'll see there's this record button. What we do is I would record an action and then I assign it to that bot and it will do it for as long as you want it to do it for. So you make them get resources. And you'll see there's a selection of things I can build from a bunch of different menus. And of course this expands as we get more things, but we need to get ourselves a workbench. And I'm gonna slap it down right there. Now you'll see if I hover over these structures, it says at the bottom right what materials it requires in order to build that. And the most important things at the minute is these three workbenches. So we'll get some sticks, we'll get some logs and we should be good to go. So if we pick up a stick and launch it in there, don't worry, we will be getting the these bots to work soon. Nothing beats a bit of free labor after all. But what I'll do is I'll build this first workbench. There we go. Back the net. Let's go. Because I want to create myself a crude axe. And then there we go. We can get to digging some trees. But rather than me digging the trees, which obviously I'm not gonna do, I'm gonna get one of these little bots down here to do it for me. So I'm gonna press spacebar. I'm gonna select Egan Wolf. And I'm gonna press record. And then we come up here and we select a tree. And then my guy starts digging it. And you'll see the bot has followed me and then look at the top left you'll see it's remembering exactly what I did now to make sure he does this again I'm gonna press repeat forever and then I'm gonna select the area he does it in because we'll make this area up here we'll make that our forestry area now I've got to give him my axe so that he can get to work and there we go back of the net ladies and gentlemen he's doing my work for me mate he's going ham look at him he's absolutely going for it you absolute Zulu warrior I guess we build one of these pallets and here we go we've got the the three logs that we require, but you see if we go here, you'll see it requires logs, planks, and poles, which means we need to chop up the wood to get different resources. So we're gonna have to build another axe for me and one for him. But again, we'll be able to automate the axe making as well so that I have to do zero work. Effectively, the purpose of this game is to do no gameplay. You want to get to the point where you don't even have to play the game. That is that is the purpose of this game. Also, it's nighttime. I really hope that I don't get invaded now because I'm woeful 
woefully underprepared. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to chop up some wood because that's uh, that's something that I am capable of doing. Now you can chop up planks once again and that will give you poles. This wants one log, three planks and two po- Oh, I didn't mean to chop that up. Oh my god, I am bad. No, I'm chopping it again! Oh, it's because I'm holding the axe. I need to not hold the axe. Okay, there we go. Let's, uh, let's pick this up. Pick that up. Pick this up. I guess we got extra planks now, which we can throw on there, I guess. And then the two poles go on here as well. And then we can get one of those logs over there. There we go. And that's gonna build a thing for us. Now we got log storage. So I can grab a log from there. And because I've taken that log, does he now go off and get more logs? There we go. We built another thing. And in this thing, we're going to design a spade. We're gonna say, pick up one of these bad boys here. Bring it down here. Okay. And then a stone from here. And bring it down here. Okay. And then that makes a spade, which is good, which is what we want. And then I'd like you to repeat that until that is full. Okay, so he's getting the stick, he's bringing it down. There's one on there and he's making another another one. So maybe, 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 maybe I've got to make him full. So if he runs off again, we know he's just gonna make infinite spades. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Stop! Stop! And also, look, there's an actual production line going up here. Infinite wood. Is it getting filled? Yes, it's even getting filled. So much so that I can take these logs and I can chuck them over here and that guy's gonna go pick up more logs for me. Excellent work. Look at this. Teamwork makes the dream work. Oh no, he's, ta he's taking my logs. No! No, oh, that's my log. Bro, what are you doing? That's my log, man. I've got so many axes, mate. <laughs> I've got so many axes. It's now empty, but he's not making another. How do I make him do that, like, again? Ooh, maybe I do another and I do repeat forever. Oh my god, I think I figured it out. Oh my god, I'm an absolute genius. So then it means that he repeats that process of checking if it's full forever. I am incredible. I am unstoppable. Yes, okay, look. So he's, like, he's spamming out at the minute, which is fine. But if I grab grab this and I take that. Oh, yes. He only makes one now. So I've just got, I do have currently a million axes in reserve, but you know, that's fine. I'm just happy that I figured that out, mate. I'm, I'm, I'm unbeatable. I'm unbeatable. Okay, here we go. It's a bot production line. Now it requires one tree seed, one pole, one three planks and one log. So it actually requires quite a few items. Weirdly, no electronic items required for this intelligent bot. I mean, to be fair, it's not particularly intelligent. I mean, neither am I. He best not come steal my log again. He's coming for it. He's coming for it. He's coming for my log. <laughs> not today, mate. It's my log. Look at him. He's coming for it again. He's not getting it, though. Get them chopped up. And then we'll stick two planks on this one over here. And then these are poles. Poles are basically, once you dig a plank down even more, it goes to poles. And look at that. We got our second storage on the go. Nice. So I need a few more logs over here. Don't, don't you dare. Ah, he's done me again. Okay, watch this. It's gonna be a race against time. He's coming for it. He's coming for it. He's... Uh, he's done me again. Okay, this is the next plan. You see these four positions right here? These are all chopping blocks. So I'm gonna get all of these built nice and quickly. There's one. This should be two. And just like that, all four have been completed. Now, if you click on these, you'll be able to see we get a little menu here. So what you can do is you can make these guys build these planks. Okay, does this work? Okay, there we go. He's grabbing the log. He's chopping the log up. Is that gonna make two planks? Yes, it is. Does he then grab a plank? Yes, he does. He puts the first one in. He runs back over. This is so satisfying. He grabs the second one and he launches it in. He grabs another log and he keeps going. Oh, back of the net. I've absolutely nailed this game. And look at this. They're all, all these resources are full. Like this is, and the guys who aren't doing anything are like waiting for more things to fill. Also, I just realized you can actually stack. Look at this. We can stack these bad boys up. Oh my God. No way. Does that? that count as just triple resources for the wood now, does it? Yes! Oh my god, a hundred! Okay, that's one, and then this should be two right here. Okay, we've just got towers of everything. Look at all of these storage capacity structures. Look how many resources I'm gonna have. Only problem is, I don't know what to spend them on. I'm beginning to be a little bit concerned that I've done something wrong there, because I don't think there should be a tower of spades. Hmm. Okay, just one item remaining, and there we go. It's a big boy. Look at him. He's just gonna jump into existence because yes, that right there is how that works. Welcome to the bot database. You can use this to search for bots in the world and store programs and share them between bots. That is actually quite smart. Okay, the base is coming along really, really nicely, but let's go find the pirate bots. It's been long enough. We're doing it in 
incredibly well, considering this is my first time properly playing a game, and I've got to say, incredibly addictive. Concerningly addictive. Oh, it's a big green wall. Okay, dare I go up? What, what are we gonna find up here? Nothing up here. Good. Okay, we have found ourselves some pirate bots. Okay, so if I, I want to break past this zone, I've first got to take out this outpost, is basically what it's saying. You'll need the right support and tools to remove them. What are the right support and tools, though? Okay, scale, pirate bot, basic melee threat, can be troublesome in great numbers, damage 13, and uh, 500 health. Okay, so, oh, they're coming for me. I, I've run inside. I don't know why I did that. Ah! Get off me! Okay, maybe I got to build a bit of an army before I go in there. So, okay, so they're actually, like, incredibly close to me. Like, that's that's the outpost there, and this is my base down here. That's a little bit concerning. Ooh, a new discovery. What's this? An abandoned outpost? What's inside the chest? Good question. What is inside the chest? Outpost toppled. What did I get? You captured your first outpost and got pieces of 8-bit. I wonder what secrets will be unlocked by researching this special pirate bot technology. Oh my god, there's another one right there. Okay, uh... Uh, <laughs> lol. I guess we just smashed that open. So, I've got 200 of that. What does that actually give me? Oh my god, I can't believe I never found any of this before. So wait, I can like research all this stuff? Oh my god, how did I not know any of this stuff was here? Okay, so I can get a grunt. I am so underprepared for this. Okay, let's have a quick look. Okay, so defensive tower, defensive tower 2, defensive tower 3. Bro, how difficult does this game get then? Okay, there we go. Operation... Okay, my god, it was, it was so close all that time. I can't believe I I spent all that time mincing around. I had no idea those blueprints were there. I'll be honest with you. Now we can get to the next research phase, get an army and kill those pirate bots. I've got a spaceport. Okay, and here we go. That's the piggy bank made to store all the gold that I don't have. So I think what I've got to do is I've got to make a spaceport so that my guys can, like, I can sell my goods on the market. Okay, that requires a lot of everything. Excellent. I'm just glad that the spaceport only requires wood. Who would have guessed it? Get it? Because I, I said wood. Yeah. I'm considering getting in touch with Elon Musk and trying to explain to him how you build a spaceport. Basically, you just get a bunch of wood, throw it together, and then jump on it in the ground uh, until you get yourself a spaceport. Yes, I am a scientist, and there you go. There you go, I told you. That's that's how you do it. It's that simple. Everyone's saying SpaceX is all this now. Oh my god, he came in pretty hot. Yo, now you can sell goods and resources to the rest of the universe. I'm gonna rip these guys off so badly. Look at them. They look so vulnerable. Wait, I don't want to buy. I don't want to buy. I want to sell. I don't want to buy your turds. I mean, they have got some bread. I mean, I haven't eaten at all whilst being here, so bread would be nice. What if I just chuck a log at them? Will they buy that if I just throw a log at them? You not want this log? <laughs> take, the, take the log, please. And there must be a lot of enemies. We've only discovered one enemy. Look at all of this. Can we just rob these guys? Can I just, like, rob them and take their stuff? If I had my way, I would kill them for money or just, you know, for fun, but it's, it's I don't think that's what this game's about. Okay, that's some cereal. Nice. We can make some cornflakes. Nice. What happened? So I just smash it. I literally just whack it. I just whack the wheat. There we go. Wow. It's every bit as hilarious as I thought it would be. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. That's what it's come to. I'm attacking cereal. There's something absolutely amazing about that animation. Just beating the hell out of a hay bale. Mate, I'm absolutely ripping off these guys. They're trading me 10 gold for a bit of seed. What amateurs. I'll happily exploit them. Ooh, and now this thing's getting built. Oh, look at that. Research ready. Okay, basic defense requirements. I'm, I'm, I'm doing that. It's gonna take a wee while, but it'll be worth it. Okay, research complete. So barracks was exactly what we needed. And the armory can go next to it. Whatever happens, I'm taking down this outpost and saving that guy before this video ends. Okay, those are both ready to be built other than gold. So I'm gonna chop down and sell more of this stuff here. I can then build the swords and the grunts and then I can attack this bloody outpost outpost over here. And we're gonna go exploit these travelers once again for all the money they've got. This is the only way to steal their money. If it was up to me, I would rob them and or possibly kill them, but you can't do that in this game. Okay, I've apparently completed a thing. I don't know what I did, but I've done a thing. There you go. Look, this, the camera is spinning and it's saying well done. Now the armory is being built. 
Nice, the armory has been built. So in the armory, I need to create myself a sword. Okay, look at that in the top corner. I'm making my first guy. Oh my god, a new defense bot. Okay, he's actually more healthy than the skeleton. So if I get a couple of those guys, which is what I'm planning, and let's see what these lads can do. Okay, I'm gonna place him in there, and I'm gonna place him in there, and hopefully they're just gonna fight. Why are they not fighting? Oh my god, they're not fighting. Okay, how do I make them fight? Maybe have I got to program them to fight? Please don't die. Please don't die. That would be so anticlimactic if, if he just dies. If he just dies, I'm gonna be absolutely raging. I'm gonna be absolutely raging if he just sits there and dies. Do I have to train them how to fight? I might have to train them how to fight. Okay, I've officially got a sword. I think I have to teach these guys how to fight. So you run in here and you hit the enemy. You like just whack the enemy, okay? You just literally just whack the enemy. Okay, then now you try it. You try it. Okay, he's doing it. He's actually doing it. He's legitimately having a fight. Okay, just follow me and punch this guy to death. It's as simple as that. Okay, do it. Go, 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 go. Okay, he's doing it. 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 He's winning that hands down. We're gonna take this outpost. Oh, I dropped my sword. I didn't mean to, but we're gonna get in there, boys. I'm gonna take this outpost down. Come on, let's get in there. And it's a tag team. It's a tag team. He doesn't stand a chance. I can't believe it. Ladies and gentlemen, I actually, after all this time, I took down the outpost. I mean, this guy is solid, to be fair. There we go. The outpost has been taken down. Removing all the pirate bots in this outpost triggered the drawbridge to give you access to the old boss tower. Okay, we saved some naked dead guy. Excellent. Just, just what I always wanted. Uh, I, I don't know what to do with this guy. Um, let's place the naked guy down here in the mud. Like some sort of pig thing. What, what the hell even is that? So, this is the new zone. Yeah, okay. Okay, excellent. Brilliant. Yeah, nah, I don't particularly fancy- th Oh my good god! Okay, this gets really out of hand really, really quickly. It's an enormous- It's another base. Okay, this- Okay, it turns out this island is just absolutely full of them. Look at the state of that. What's this over here? This looks like a- This looks like a fortress. Oh my god. It's an imp. The difficulty seems to scale quite- Quite hard is- Is what I'm kind of taking away from this, to be honest. It goes from, like, pretty chill to really, really not chill. Okay, excellent. Okay, so here's my base, which I thought was, you know, pretty impressive. And now what I'd like to show you is that if you thought Autonauts versus Pirate Bots was going to be an easy base building game, then um, if you just look up here for a second, and then all the way along here, what you're gonna see is uh, you'd be wrong. Very, very, very wrong. I love how the difficulty scales from, like, not at all difficult to just unreasonable. Once again, thanks to the developer Denki for creating this wonderful game, and to Curve Games for sponsoring this video. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year is the goal. So make sure you turn notifications on, and if you've not joined my Discord, hit the link in the description to join that. Thank you very much. Goodbye.